TNTM The Show presents The Marvel's Spoiler-Free Review with The Ambassador and Pablo Gunner, The Gun Show, or B-Man, some people call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> so, like we said, we're here to talk to you about The Marvel's Spoiler-Free Review, and I loved it. It was a blast. It was a great movie. Go see it. Yeah. All right, we're done. We're getting out of here. I'm just okay. Kidding. Let's go. Oh, go. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's really, really worth watching. Writing's on point. There's actual character development. Oh yeah. Which has been very lacking with Carol Danvers because I wasn't really a fan of Brie Larson, but the Brie Larson we saw in this film just blew it out of the water. Monica Rambeau. Perfect, as usual. Loved her in the her previous stuff. And then, of course, uh, Kamala Khan killed it. Really, really helped give you a good audience character at times. And you really got to kind of see her uh, grow into her own. Yeah, it's crazy this movie's the shortest Marvel movie. It was really emotional. It was really intense. It was really solid. Uh, the villain w was really good. You kind of feel for him. But yeah, it, it was a phenomenal movie. Definitely check it out. Yeah. Worth seeing in theaters. Worth seeing in theaters. Comes with a Blu-ray. Strong buy. Or if you voodoo it. Or whatever, Apple or Amazon. Whatever you buy your digital stuff on. Get it. Yes. And make sure you stay for all the the extra stuff at the end. Oh, yeah. So, both scenes after the credits, great, but the last one was like... mind blower. Wow. Didn't expect it, didn't expect it. So, that's why you should go check out The Marvels and more, which we'll talk about later in a podcast, later this month. Yeah, later this month. Talk nerdy to me.